Welcome to Father Crest Review of the Aerial Baby. Okay, well, welcome to Father Crest Review of the Aerial Baby. jumped right into it. I thought it's just a baby carrier and there's just some buckles and some straps. It's just basically a backwards facing backpack. How complicated could it be? Boy was I in for a surprise. Man, I, I learned some things about myself during this whole review. The uh, camera battery died on me. I was just saying, straps are hard to find when you're walking around and I don't know how happy he is at the moment. Full disclosure, this is the fourth time maybe I've worn this thing. It's going all right. Still, he's not crying and uh, overall seems to be in a pleasant disposition. I, on the other hand, am sweating profusely. It's stupefyingly humid outside right now and that I'm walking around with a 21 pound baby and sweating nervously that I can't figure out how this thing works. We're nearing the end of our journey. Uh, I think Calvin's had about enough and I have too. So we'll uh, do some more education on this and try it again, another trip. Today is a new day, and you know what that means? Exactly. Today is another day to attempt to wear the Ergo Baby. What have we learned? What lessons have we learned? Read the instructions. Get advice from the pros. Yeah. What have I always said? What have I always said? means first attempt in learning. And that's what happens. But there is always a new day, right? Today we are gonna try again. So, let's get to it. Buddy, don't pull on that, please. Okay. So we're back. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> Thank you. We've watched the instructional video. Uh, I'm getting a thumbs up from Oliver, so I think his encouragement's all I need to get going. Let's see how we fare this time around putting the Ergo Baby on.
I can't seem to uh, face is still not above the barrier here. Why is that? Anybody have any suggestions? Uh, uh, I knew, I knew, I knew. What? Uh, probably. I know, I know. I know the problem. Um, daddy. What do you think? Good. How do we look? Good. Woo! Final thoughts on the Ergo Baby 360. Oh, what a ride it was. Let's go ahead and get the negative parts out of the way. Mission. I can't think of the word mission. My biggest issue with the Ergo Baby 360 is how difficult it was to actually put it on and then adjust the thing as you're wearing it. For me, it was nearly impossible. The shoulder straps, which apparently is called the front straps, or the back straps, or whatever you want to call them, the things that go across your shoulder, couldn't reach. And once it's tightened, I can't reach back there to loosen it. I just don't bend that way. The, the shoulder straps, you've got to really be careful when you're putting it on that they're in a position that you can grab them and tighten them in case you need to. But more importantly, to be able to loosen them if you need to. The first time I put Calvin in there, I found out after closer inspection that he was too tight in there and I needed to loosen, loosen the shoulder straps and I couldn't. I guess it's an issue, but it's not really because it's not designed to do this. Then what is this? What am I talking about? Its biggest feature isn't its breathability. So let's get into the uh, positive things. It functions to carry your baby. When Calvin was in there, it did that job very well. Once I was able to feel comfortable that he was in there properly and the way he was supposed to be. And mainly, I wanted to find out how many other things I could do with Calvin and the carrier. So, you know, like take the garbage up from the curb. Easy. Gardening, not really a problem. Again, except for the heat because you're outside and it's hot and you're carrying a 21 pound baby. And I digress. Vacuuming. You know, all these things that seem like an afterthought until you actually have to do it and you have a baby to also care for. Overall aesthetics of the Ergo Baby. Fine, it's not too, too geared towards one sex over the other, but I'd like to have something that's more neutral or geared more towards the fathers in the world, and I don't think that's asking too much. But again, the one that we have is pretty neutral with just a few frilly designs on there, but not overbearing or anything, not something that I, that I was self-conscious of. So aesthetically, I was happy. So would I recommend the Ergo Baby 360 to other fathers and or mothers out there? I would say yes, but make sure you do your research into other carrier, carriers that as well. Find out how they operate and how they differ from the Ergo Baby. So I would really look into that to see if um, there may be some brands out there that are a little easier to put on. But overall, I was happy with the way the Ergo Baby functioned and the way I was able to walk around with Calvin and do things around the house that I normally would not be able to do unless I had the Ergo Baby on. That is that. Thank you for watching and please make sure to visit uh, fathercraft.com for uh, other reviews that we've done and other blogs and uh, useful information we've posted. So, thanks again.